I'm now going to show you an overview of exactly how Jaxi works. So this is the main interface of Jaxi. And right off the bat, what you can do is go ahead and start doing a search. But before we actually do a search, let me just give you a quick guideline as to uh, what these three terms mean. So these are match types. This is very similar to uh, any kind of Google AdWords uh, search tool that you'd be using uh, provided by Google. And basically broad means uh, search for the keyword that you're using. So we'll say dog training, uh, but give me results that have the word dog and the word training. The word phrase means uh, give me the search results from anything where people use the word dog training but also include anything before and anything after. And the exact match, which is what we always recommend uh, that you, you use, uh, exact match means give me the results from uh, someone searching or people searching dog training, but without anything before and without anything after. Exactly that keyword. Okay, pretty straightforward. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just type in dog training and see what kind of results that we get. So it's gonna go ahead and do my search for me. And it might take a moment to uh, calculate its results and then it's gonna come back with some uh, dog training suggested keywords, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you what all this stuff means. Okay, so these are keywords that have brought back some results for us. Okay, and just to the left of that, we have something called related keywords. So, so if you if you don't find anything here in the main keywords area, these are related keywords, otherwise known as LSIs, um, that you might want to give it a try. And simply by clicking, and that'll actually create a new search for you. The next column is monthly searches, and that gives you uh, precisely how many searches. Uh, that term had in a given month, okay, on, on average. And estimated traffic, it determines how many uh, people in a given month could l visit your site if you were in the top search engines. Uh, competition is a measure of uh, PPC ads for that particular term. So if uh, the higher the number, that means the more comp more PPC competition there is. Now, if you're um, an SEO marketer where you're trying to find keywords that are, you know, and th that you're not going to be doing any PPC, this is actually still a really good column to look at because if it has a lot of competition in terms of PPC, pay per clicks, it means there's potentially uh, people making money with that keyword because they're spending money to place ads. Okay. Uh, QSR stands for quoted search result. And what we're going to do is see what we've done is we've, we've individually, we individually click the QSR just to get the QSR. And KQI stands for keyword quality indicator. And when I click a QSR or the next one, uh, it'll actually give me a green light which represents that the, um, the, the quality is good. Uh, a yellow light, which, or sorry, a green light means the quality is great. Yellow light means the quality is good. And then there'd be a, a red light, which means the quality is not good. Okay, uh, SEO power gives us a gauge in terms of how, uh, how easy it is to rank on the first page of Google. And then we have a domain search which you can simply find a domain, see if the domain is available for that particular term. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and pull up some QSRs. So I'm just gonna look here and I'm gonna look at online dog training. So I'm gonna pull that QSR. So it's telling me it has a quoted search result of 499 and it tells me the KQI is actually a green light which is great. And then SEO power, uh, which basically it's a culmination of um, QSR competition and estimated traffic. So it gives us an 82 score out of 100. So the higher the number there, the better. Okay, so let's actually see if a domain is available by simply clicking domain, uh, find domain, and what it's going to do. And just as I thought, no domains are available for that particular keyword. 
But what this can do is this can actually, um, we might be able to use that keyword um, as a, a blog post if we, you know, eventually we'll find a dog training uh, website uh, address, a, a domain. And uh, so we're going to keep that. So I'm going to keep going down here and see what else I can find here. Dog training guide, dog training courses, dog training for dummies. That sounds pretty good. Let's check out the QSR for that. So it's telling me that it's uh, it's very poor because it has a high level of competition in the search engine result pages. So we're going to go ahead and we've got residential dog training. Let's actually check that one out. Okay, again, so that's not a problem. And now it if you want what here's what I'm doing is I'm actually just looking at these search volumes first okay um, and then you know obviously I'm looking at the, the, the keyword as well but I'm gonna look at canine dog training thousand searches a month get the QSR okay so yeah so we have a, obviously have a lot of competition so you can see the trend here that we have a lot of competition for these keywords so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start finding keywords with a lower search volume, which I find is uh, a lot actually a lot more targeted and a better stand a better chance at uh, um, obtaining first page rankings, just because it's uh, you know it's, or sorry conversions better conversions. So let's find the domain, see if a domain is available for that. In home dog training. So we got the .com org and net taken, but .info is, is available, and and also we have the dash available. Dash is available. Okay, so that's a good thing. Okay, so let's find so let's find something for this video here. So we've got dog training at home, dog training tricks. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to secrets to dog training. Now, here's another cool thing I should mention is if I were to click on any of these um, terms, so if I actually clicked on that, that again is going to um, that's going to create a new search here. All right. So uh, one thing here, something that stood out to me was dog whisperer tips. I'm actually going to go ahead and click on that and see what kind of results I can get. Okay, so dog whisperer is a pretty popular um, dog trainer. Okay, he's on he's on television and. Uh, what is a dog whisperer? <laughs> dog whisperer video. Dog aggression training. That sounds pretty good. 423. It's okay. Check out the domain. See if it's available. Again, the dot info is available. Okay, and that's that's totally fine. Dog whispering. Lots of competition there. How to be a dog whisperer. <laughs> That's interesting. That that actually would be a good blog post there. Dog obedience tips, dog training advice. So as you can see, it takes a little bit of time. Dog whisper sued. Oh, I don't really want that. <laughs> uh, dog training techniques. So, you know, obviously what we've done, oh, here's here's a nice one, German Shepherd Training. So that's actually really good is when you're starting to go into, uh, you know, kind of micro niche specific. And, um, and again, folks, this is all just kind of real time. I'm not, I, I didn't uh, set this up prior to recording the video. German Shepherd Kennels, trained German Shepherd, German Shepherd Kennels. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. German Shepherd Kennels. So it's a what it is. It's a kennel specifically for um, German Shepherds. Now uh, the .org was ta is available, which is kind of cool. So what essentially you can do here is talk about German Shepherd Kennels and um, 
you know, you could sell it to a, a kennel club or, or that, you know, deals with German shepherds. You know, there's lots of opportunity here once you get your, your uh, keyword. Okay, so um, that's about it for today's um, video. So I want to make sure that you, everyone understands that just how easy, and I hope I, I showed just how easy it is to use Jaxi. And if you have any questions, feel free to head over to jaxi.com and fill out our contact page. Thanks.